And now that I've taken a lot of it off, I can put it right there again. Trying to get a rectilinear shape in here. I think I want to go dark blue. So I'm going to take my blue, and this is a pretty dark tone here. Take some red. That's a nice dark. Of this palette knife and an irregular edge. Also, like how it skims over the surface like that. It's kind of cool. Just freezer paper. Um, I'm gonna try some mono print. We're studying the Fovis in my membership group, Watch Learn Grow. So it's all about bright color, bright saturated color. So I think I'm I'm definitely <laughs> going in that direction here. These are definitely bright saturated colors, but not all of them. So I'll keep turning the board like this and see just check the balance and see what's happening. Uh for some pure white or almost pure white. thick. Let's see if I have any collage paper I can work in there. I don't have a lot prepared right now, but I definitely have to make some more paper. <laughs> These same old dots, you know, but what can I do with that? Maybe, um, High contrast. Got a lot of curves, so I'm thinking rectilinear here. But not really sure how this will work. Okay, so if I want to put that down, I need some 
cold wax medium. I'm just going to put it on the back of this rather than smear it onto the panel, which is so full of paint. It's always tricky. Um, this, I've got clear gesso on the back side of this collage paper. Well, it's collage paper that I made with spray paint. It's gritty because it has clear gesso on the back side. And if you're working cold wax medium, then the only glue you have is your cold wax medium. And in this case, I have some Galka gel in there as well. So I'm just making sure it's kind of thick enough because that's the only glue I have. And if I, whoops, if I lay it down in here, that's kind of, whoops, step one. Just, um, okay, I'm gonna press this down without trying to disturb the paint around it. Just wanna really kind of embed it in there. Okay, that should hold. So then I just don't, you know, I don't really like these um, hard edges around there. So I just have to integrate it. So I could use, um, could use my palette knife. I can use this pigment stick uh, just to make that go away a little bit. Change that edge, make it disappear. Down here, I've got that dark. That's easy enough to disguise that. You can use a brush too. Let's see if I have a brush here. I'm gonna grab an oil painting brush. I'm gonna use this one. So a little bit of that blue. Just wanna get rid of that little bit of an edge here. And then you clean your brush just with cooking oil. Super easy. Let's put a little puddle on here and don't really need any Gamsol unless it gets dried to get the paint out. But if you get it right away, you're pretty good. Take care of your brushes. It's good. You can feel the grittiness of that collage paper. Didn't really want to have quite so much of that blue. So the yellow mixed with the blue and I got a bit of green. I like this light blue. I just did that for a feeling of balance. I'd like some plain gray. Put it right by this um, or enough pigment stick.
remember, I have to work really thick because this paint is very, very wet. Um, my, my silicone tool is um, almost parallel to the surface, and the, the paint, I'm, you can't really see it, but the paint I'm putting on here is super thick, which means it'll take a long time to dry, but that's okay. That's why it's nice to have so many things going on at one time. <laughs>